Hi, I'm Wade Wingler with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana. We use iPads for a whole lot of things. Josh Anderson is going to show us how to use the built-in magnifier just to make stuff a little bit bigger and easier to see on your iPad. Hi, I'm Josh and today I'm going to show you the new built-in magnifier in uh, iOS 10. And this is very useful for anyone with any kind of visual impairment who just needs to magnify print or anything else and can really be used by just about anybody. Okay, so the first thing I'll show you how to do is how to turn on the magnifier. And this is actually built in, so if you have any kind of iPad, iPhone, or iPod running um, iOS 10, this will be a built in feature. So first I go to my settings and I go to general. And from general, I go to the accessibility tab. And once I click on that, you'll see the choice for magnifier. Once I go to there, I can enable it. And once it's enabled, all I have to do to get the magnifier to turn on is press the home button three times quickly. So one, two, three. And it'll give me a choice. So I use different accessibility shortcuts so some different ones come up. If you don't have other ones enabled, it'll just go straight to the magnifier. I click on magnifier. And that will actually bring up a magnifier using the built-in camera on the back. From here, I can do all kinds of different things. There's a slider at the bottom, and I can use it to zoom in and make things actually quite large and still pretty clear. But it has other settings that are very helpful as well. There's a small icon, looks like three little circles down here in the lower right-hand corner. If I click on it, I can change some other settings. I can adjust my brightness to match the room. I can change the contrast a little to make things a little brighter and easier to see. But what's really helpful is I can actually change the colors so that if I can, perhaps it helps me a little bit more to have a white on a blue background or even a yellow on blue. I can change things to grayscale if the color is a little bit hard to see for me. It's also yellow on black and red on black as well. So it gives me some different choices. And then I can just go back and change it straight to the normal colors. And all I have to do to go back is touch those three dots again and I'm right back to my magnifier. To turn it off, all I have to do is press home and I'm right back to where I was before. So again, very important, if you do turn on the magnifier, an icon doesn't show up. So there isn't something that you can just click on. You will have to press that home button one, two, three times, click on magnifier, and it's right there. It's not quite as good as some of the handheld magnifiers that you can buy aftermarket, but it is built in, it's free, it doesn't cost anything, and it's on a device that you probably already carry on your person every day. So this can help at the grocery store, trying to read documents, uh, look at prices, even look at pictures of, uh, of friends and family. So it's a very cool thing that Apple was nice enough to build into their newest operating system. So there's a great way to get adjustable levels of magnification right there on that handy iPad device. That's your tech tip for this week. I'm Wade Wingler with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.